Cheers. This is Ancient One at my house in Lawrenceville, Georgia, suburb of Atlanta. So what I've got here is my whip. So this is the third video, the series on the whip. So using the whip, it's like skipping a rock. It's like using a a whip. In fact, I got a whip. I'll show you this whipping motion. So I'm drag loading. I'm taking it back like this and then creating that snap. Bam. So I, I sent away for a rider's crop. Now this, bam, bam, Kentucky Derby, training horses. You want to whack them on the butt. So I don't have anybody to whack, but I can whack this. So I'm just taking it. Go, 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 go. That's the whip. You don't have to be taught how to use this. My mother used a large wooden spoon on my bottom. It worked pretty good. But she also used a, a limb, a small limb that we would cut out of the tree. That stung. But creating the whip, and this was developed by Brad Peterson, located in Frisco, Texas, about 20 years ago. He was a long drive champion. And he was having trouble, and he had body issues, back, a back disease, which finally rounded him. But he found this whipping motion. And Matthew Wolf is using modernism. And Bubba Watson smothers to that degree. But it's this move. Whip it. Smash factor. So I happened to retrieve my high-tech low-spin ball. I showed you how to make this out of copy paper. It won't break up mirrors, lamps, pictures. You can do it inside. Or I can hit it against my building here because I want to do a face-on. Now, I've been using these pine cones, but I go down range. But this, I'm going to hit right against that building, creating this lag. Bobby Jones did. He would drag load. That's what it's called, drag and let load. So I'm going to do that. It's a simple move, but you have to train your body. Bam. That didn't hurt. Didn't hit me. So I hope that opened some eyes. The, the lag factor. Smash factor. So love to share what I've learned. Cheers.